is going on guys and welcome back to another video and this is an update to a story we did earlier and this is from the Huffington Post just in fresh crisis in Northern Ireland as First Minister Paul Givan resigns he is now resigned we did a video earlier on where we were talking about how he might resign he has now resigned so what does this mean well he resigned over the Northern Ireland protocol between um as part of the Brexit deal, which means that uh, goods from the UK have to be checked before they can enter into Northern Ireland. He did not agree with this. He wanted this crap. And yeah, he resigned his position because he just didn't agree with the politics. Well, with his resignation, whoa, it is, it is uh, quite a situation now. Because of the DUP's power-sharing partner is Sinn Féin, that is how Northern Ireland works. It shares power between two parties, which is the DUP and Sinn Féin. They have a partnership agreement. And yeah, part of that agreement means that now that he's stepped down, Michelle O'Neill of Sinn Féin will also have to step down from her position immediately, meaning the executive will no longer be able to function as normal. This means that Northern Ireland, in essence, is going through a major shift right now where they're not having a fully functioning government. Now, there is an election coming up in May, um, and they also have six weeks to find replacement candidates for these people to have stepped down. But there was the budget that was meant to be going through. Now, that is up in the air. This was meant to be the budget for the next three years and stuff. Um, it's just mental, and God knows what's going to happen now. God knows what's going to happen now with Ireland. And Brexit and EU, um, former Northern Ireland Se Secretary Julian Smith urged people to keep the faith. They, he said, um, thinking today about the vast number of women and men in Northern Ireland who love where they live, celebrate the unique agreement that has won and maintained peace, and who are at ease with shades of grey rather than black and white. This majority will prevail. Keep the faith. And yeah. DUP has been um, opposed to the protocol ever since it was introduced as part of the Brexit deal. In order to avoid a politically hard um, border separating Northern Ireland, you know, with it no longer being in the EU, um, they don't want that border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And then also the problems with what goods can and can't come in from Great Britain to Northern Ireland now because of the potential of it going to the Republic of Ireland, it goes from the Republic of Ireland going into Northern Ireland. It's, it is, you can understand why Northern Ireland is in the position it's in because of this Brexit. This was discussed about many, many times that this would become a massive problem, and now it's just became a huge fucking problem. Northern Ireland just made in the EU single market for goods, while the region also applies EU customs rules at ports even though it is part of the UK Customs Territory. While the protocol honours the integrity of the EU single market for goods as well as the Good Friday peace agreement, unionist parties do not like it because they believe it damages Northern Ireland's place in the UK by treating it as a separate entity. And this is what it comes down to. Uh, it's a mess now. We're going to have to see where this goes and what happens and where things land for Northern Ireland. But right now, with this in mind, it is not good in terms of Brexit, the Good Friday Agreement, or anything. It's certainly not good for Northern Ireland having a non-functioning executive point like that. Ugh, there is still people working there, obviously, but the head's been cut off now, and it really hurts policy decisions with that vacuum. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.